Hello everyone, it's Dan Calloway again coming at you and today I want to talk about reviewing post-installation configuration of OpenSUSE Leap 42.2, which is my favorite distro. I've done a couple of videos before but I've had recommendations from viewers to redo the video and include some things I left out in the, in the uh, previous videos I've done. So first thing I want to talk about is post installation you'll want to change the configuration of your desktop so let's right click on the desktop select configure desktop and select the you only have like two of these out here you can get new ones here with by getting new wallpaper clicking that you can maximize this I'll, right now I'll just show you what it looks like when it comes up um, and let me go ahead and maximize it when it pops up uh, on the screen then you can go in and you can select the ones you want scroll up and down here click the install button and it should install uh, locally for you or take you out to a website to do the install alright if you don't like those you can click the open button here and it takes you to your pictures directory under your home directory to select your favorite snapshot picture photo whatever and um, select that as your wallpaper. All right, so let me go ahead and click that, cancel it. Next thing you want to do post installation, you want to check the desktop theme you're running. So just start typing desktop theme, and it'll open the run command at the top of the window here. Um, maximize that, and then you can see that I'm running Oxygen. You can select a different one, like Elegance, if you're, you know, your preference is dark theme your preferences of the light theme instead you can do air or breeze light or air open SUSE. if you don't like those you can click the get new theme button and it takes you to the system setting module for add-on installer here and you can scroll up and down and get the one you like there click install and it will install similar to how you do the uh, ins installation for wallpaper alright I kinda like that in, in open SUSE. they did that they did this right I'm going to leave mine on oxygen. I'm going to click cancel. Next thing you want to change is you want to look at tweaking your desktop effects. So just start typing. Alright, and it brings up the desktop effects window or interface. A couple of ones I want to point out to you is uh, or are these. Uh, that is the uh, translucency, the magic lamp, okay, which looks like this. And it's kind of a Mac OS X effect okay when you minimize a window the next one that you'll want to uh, change probably I like the effect that it that it gives you uh, it did that again hold on a minute let me just bring that to full screen and scroll down and it's called the desktop cube animation all right and so let me just cancel that for now what the desktop cube animation does, if you have multiple workstations here, when you change the workstations, it gives the effect that it's a you know turning cube on the desktop. They go back and forth between workstations. Okay. All right. So after doing that, now the next thing you'll want to do is get rid of that bouncing cursor that you see every time you open an application and open SUSE. I I don't like it. It's an annoyance. So to change that just start typing uh, launch feedback I guess type it right properly here launch feedback and click on it and that brings up the uh, interface for application launch feedback it's going to be on bouncing cursor by default change it to no busy cursor alright and then click apply and OK and that will get rid of the bouncing cursor okay uh, and then the next thing you want to do uh, after doing that is you might want to put a widget out here on your desktop uh, I'll get rid of this one and show you how to add it back so I'm going to remove it here and the nice thing about OpenSUSE is it notifies you every time you do things and this is a notification area very similar to what you see in Windows 10 with your clock over here and your notification icons to get the uh, uh, widgets, what you can do is you can come up here to the corner and select this button here and select Add Widgets. A flyout is going to come out on the screen here and you can select from a various uh, number of, of widgets that are available. I like this analog clock so I'm going to hover over it 
I'm going to left click and drag it out onto the desktop. And that's going to place it out there. And I'm going to go back, go ahead and close this interface. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to, um, that's a calendar that pops up. And let's see here. Check uh, analog clock settings. And I want to show the second hand, second hand. So let me click apply and OK. And so that pops the second hand out on the clock here. You can minimize um, this clock as well, uh, but it's it's doesn't seem to be working for me at the moment, so I'm not going to mess with it. But anyway, that's the digital clock. Uh, there is a way to minimize that. All right, so next thing you want to look at in tweaking the desktop is um, the actual uh, interface for getting into things and applications. All right, so click on the Start button. I have something called a dashboard set up. I like it because I've got all of my applications that I normally use here, my favorites, the ones I use over and over. Uh, you can click the All Apps button and scroll up and down uh, to get the ones that you want here that are, have been installed or that were pre-installed on application installation. Um, and then you can select the ones you want here for like systems and ut utilities and etc. etc. Um, if you want to change that, you can just right click and select alternatives. And you can then go in here and select either the uh, application launcher or one called application menu and then select the switch button and what that does is it switches it to an application menu style very similar uh, to what you see in Windows 10 for instance uh, so that you can select an application and you can actually have it launch it on your desktop alright so once we do all of that uh, one of the other things that you want to uh, possibly tweak is if you don't like the taskbar down here at the bottom uh, which I prefer but some people like theirs to be off to the left. Some even like it at the top. Very few uh, have asked for it to be on the right. But what you can do is you can right click and select panel options and then select panel settings and then come up to screen edge and you notice it turns into a hand. All right, so you can select it, bring it to the left, let it go and click out on the desktop and that moves the taskbar off to the left hand side. Alright, if you want to change it again, you can right click and panel options, panel settings, uh, and then come back to screen edge and then bring it to the very top and then release it and let it go and then that changes it to the very top. Okay, you can leave it there. Now, one of the other things you can do with panel options, panel settings, is you can also change the height of this so if you don't want it quite as big or if you want it bigger you, know, you can make it as big as you want um, I kinda like it right about there alright but the other thing I do I like it at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and reset it back to the bottom again and so it's going to let me get to the screen edge and bring that to the bottom and click out and release it and it brings it back here by default you're going to have uh, one or two workstations. You can come on to the desktop here or what I call workstations. You can right click and you can add a virtual desktop. Okay. To make that seven. Okay. And then right click and we'll give it eight virtual desktops. And so now we have desktop number eight here. Uh, so I've got eight desktops here. Um, the desktops allow you to work in an area and if you want to have a clean slate on your real estate here for your desktop you can select another one and go right to it. Okay so this has been a quick review of OpenSUSE Linux Leap 42.2 uh, and what you should do uh, to tweak or reconfigure the desktop and the look and feel of your uh, system uh, post installation. All right. One other final thing I wanted to talk about that I, I missed was desktop, or actually uh, a couple of things, desktop um, or icon rather, icon theme. Let's talk about that real quick before we leave. 
and so you can maximize that and I kind of like the add weta you might like breeze or one of the others but it's going to give you that uh, effect that you see here for the by default for your icons all right and then the final thing that we need to talk about here um, after doing the icon theme is that you'll want to uh, let's see here uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was I wanted to talk about. Um, let's see. No, I can't remember now. There was one other final thing I wanted to talk about, and uh, the icon theme. Oh, look and feel. So let's type look and feel, and let's come down to look and feel system settings. This is one of the final things you'll want to do, and I apologize for missing it. Here's look and feel. I'm using the open SUSE look and feel. You can change it to breeze dark or breeze. I kind of like this one, so if you want yours to look similar to mine, select the open SUSE one. Let's go ahead and click cancel here. And so this has been a review of uh, open SUSE Elite 42.2 uh, configuration post installation of the distribution. Hope this was helpful. If you have any other suggestions, please make comments and I will follow on with another quick video. Have a nice day.